the last question I have, excuse me for a second, is from my friend Matt. And Matt is a, a fellow artist and graphic designer. And Matt asks, do I need a business license for a freelance career? Or if I'm planning uh, on calling my freelance services a quote-unquote business. So, so he asks, if he's going to be a freelancer, does he need to have an actual business license? And I did a little checking around on that, and here's, here's the, uh, the uh, answer that I got on that. Pretty much, if you are going to freelance and really just do it under your own name, like, you know, Tony Snipes or, or Matt's name or whoever's name, if you're basically going to freelance under your name, then you don't really necessarily have to have a business license. You, of course, no matter what you're doing, you have to report the revenue that's coming in. But if you're going to do it now as a business with a, like, Tony Snipes graphic design or something, um, with a similar similar to a business name, then that's where you need to have some form of a business license, and especially just you know coming out of the gates as a freelancer, a sole proprietorship is probably one of the simplest ways to do that. But the best thing to do is to check your city or your county where you uh, do get your business license, uh, where they have that information, because each state and each area has uh, a little bit different guidelines. So I hope all that was helpful for everybody that had those questions today. Uh, guys and gals, I especially want you to email your questions to me, uh, post them on, uh, on, on this blog or on the Facebook page, because if I don't have the answer, I will surely try to direct you in the right direction to get the information. So thanks a lot, y'all, and I uh, will see you next time.